Michal arrived early to set the scene and take a look around the picture-perfect location. Nestled in the heart of the lower valley of the Haldeberg, here in Stellenbosch is Webersburg, which serves as the ideal background for the nuptials of South Africa's favorite newscaster, Vibakshmi Chetty, to her leading man, Jeff Miller. When Mela received a personal invite, I was more than ready to celebrate with the newlyweds. Local residents honked greetings to the hardworking crew, who were focused on ensuring that not a single aspect would be left unpolished. Much planning goes to an event of such a magnitude and the lady at the helm is Anne Mann. Anne, tell me a bit more about the intention of today. To build an incredibly beautiful, festive, spiritual occasion. And how involved was the couple? It was quite an experience. I dealt um, a lot with the groom, which is quite unusual. Um, v added all the aesthetic input and Jeff was very much behind more of the logistical um, planning. So together it was a great team. With mere moments till the church ceremony, let's catch up with Vibakshini as she puts together her final touches. There was a noticeable lack of pre-wedding jitters, which may well have been thanks to Vibakshini's professional experience. Hello V, how are you? Hi Michelle. You well? Mm, air kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Vibakshini, congratulations first off. How are you feeling? Michelle, I'm feeling surprisingly calm and collected and cool. It's wedding day, not a single nerve in sight, no jitters, which is great. So I'm feeling very excited to walk down the aisle. But how can that be? It's your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You know what? Don't believe any stories brides tell you because I didn't sleep at all, but I just feel great. This is a spectacular location that you've chosen. What made you decide on Stellenbosch? Well, Stellenbosch was the one thing Jeff wanted. He wanted to get married in wine country. I decided he should have what he likes. So it's the one big thing that he got to decide on. We wanted to have a mini destination wedding and we're grateful that all our friends and family have made it here. Vibakshini, as a 12-year-old kid, I'm sure you've fantasized about a wedding. Ironically, I'm not one of those girls. Um, <laughs> I started this process and Anne will tell you, I didn't know what flowers I wanted, I didn't know anything. And then something just shifted and I came back a weekend later and I knew everything. I had the answer to every single question. So it was just like a switch went off. I was not the little girl who planned everything from what she was wearing to the colored lipstick she'd be wearing. So no, it was a learning curve for me. Well, V, you're looking spectacular. I'm going to leave you to it and I'll catch up with you later. Looking forward to it. As the mother of the bride, how are you feeling? Well, she's the only child of men and I am looking forward to the marriage. And I am a bit excited. And Jeff, what do you think of him? Well, she met Jeff, I suppose he, he saw her on the TV. And uh, they met and they were friends. And she told me she was uh, falling in love with him. I said, Everybody's human. <laughs> As the father of the bride, it's a big day for you. How are you feeling? It's a special day for us. It's a day we waited for for a long time. It's arrived now and we're feeling great. The Bakshin's your only child as well. This is a big occasion. What thoughts and feelings are going through your mind? A little vulnerable, but we accept her finding the man she wanted and hopefully she's going to go through life as we looked after her. And He's going to get take care of her, I'm sure. Vibakshini has definitely not forgotten her Durban roots as the bunny chow makes an appearance. So, Chef, um, when you heard bunny chows on the menu, what did yes. you think? Well, I had to think a bit of Durban. How I've eaten bunny chow, big loaf of bread, starving, hungry, nice, dipping in hot, spicy stuff. So, I've just kind of made it nice and petite and cute. Oh. And I've made use of little individual rolls, which I'm going to give to you, Nana. How did you make spice. it? I've got spicy lamb. I've got spices from Durban. It's a low lamb. I've cut it really cute. One centimeter by one centimeter. It's slow roasted with all the spices that I've got in from Durban and I have really had no jokes. Um, I've made a nice tomato, onion, chili salsa with the lamb curry in the bread and a slight little captain on top. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to try and make one as well. If please, you... man, please, yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit of that. You've got your meat portion with a yes. little gravy because remember they're eating with their hands. Yes. Okay. Yes. There we go. Some of the salad. A bit of the salsa. Not too much. I see you've chopped it nice and fine. Some color decoration. Some nice little herbies there for you. Fresh Voila. out the gardens of Weaversburg. <laughs> Take a little capping. Bon appetit. Mmm. As I say, there's a lot of flavors. Spices coming away from Durban, so I didn't have to try too much. 
the meat gets marinated for like two days before I cook it. Better than Durban, eh? All right, here we go. The photographer made the most of the fabulous light and surroundings. I've had a quick wardrobe change as we are about to attend the formal service here at the St. Nicholas Church in Stellenbosch. Disciples, you are the light of the world. I will actually take you, Jeff, to be my husband. <laughs> a welcome breeze cooled the summer heat, and a sculptured wedding cake waited to be cut. Babakshni and Jeff had made an inspired choice with a transparent marquee, offering their guests the pleasure of a stunning view while enjoying the canapes. Western Cape weather is notoriously unreliable, but it was on its best behavior for this special event, allowing guests to enjoy the food in the afternoon sunshine. As the best man, what is your thoughts about today? Um, absolutely fantastic. I can't picture a better setting for such a great day. Well, I'd like to wish them all the best for their marriage and I hope it just keeps go growing and growing the way that it has been for all this time. We wish them many, many years of happiness and uh, a very happy married life together. Now you are Mrs. Miller. Oh yes, did you see this? Oh wow! <laughs> and tell me about that special chain here. Oh, this was a gift from my husband, <laughs> my something blue. Oh, your yeah, something blue. Oh, that's okay. What was your something borrowed? My something borrowed was my grandmother's bangle. So that was very sentimental as well. Something borrowed, something blue, something old. Old, something new. Something new. So you have to show your old. <laughs> old. My old is this as well. Something borrowed and something old. We kind of mixed it mixed up. Mixed it up works. Yeah. And the new? The new would be the earrings. Oh, decked out in jewels. I love it. <laughs> Jeff, congratulations. Thanks so much, Michelle. How are you feeling most importantly? Uh, happy. Happy. Happy that the difficult part is done and really ready to enjoy the rest of the evening with my family and friends. So very, very happy. And tell me about the location that you chose. We actually looked at about 10 or 12 different locations. Uh, dates were a challenge, but uh, we fell in love with this place. Beautiful view of the mountains, overlooking a lake. We've got a great marquee. So when we saw it, we just knew it was the right place. And uh, your wish for the future now that you are Mr. and Mrs. Miller? Yes, well, for her, Chetty Miller, for me, Miller. Um, no, look, we're, we're just super excited that uh, we were able to you know, take that last step and we're just excited for our life together. Awesome. Jeff, thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much. Have a good evening. Cheers. As the sun sets on the formalities of today, we now head on over for the formal dinner. First of all, I'd like to make a toast to my beautiful bride, to the Bakshi. Um, I just want to say to Jeff, I've never been happier. I love you with all my heart. I hope you're happy too. <laughs> How are you feeling today, seeing your son walk down the aisle? I'll be quite honest, I don't smile a lot, but I find myself driving down the road and think about those two getting married, I find a smile on my face. Today has truly been a momentous occasion with Stellenbosch serving as the perfect backdrop for this special occasion. Happy, happy, happy love and laughter to the Millers. Wishing you all the best.